Closing arguments are scheduled this morning in the trial of the man accused of opening fire and wounding two children at a Carlsbad Elementary School back in 2010. Some breaking news out of Indiana this morning. A school bus driver and one child have been killed. Tomorrow's a big day, Super Tuesday, and the race for the GOP presidential nomination is nearing the home stretch. Ten states with more than 400 delegates are at stake. Towards Georgia, where Newt Gingrich is surging in every single poll that's been out today. It's tax time. Did you know that? And there's yeah. some pretty good news for anybody dragging their feet when it comes to filing to pay those taxes. You might want to keep your gas tank topped off. Gas prices have been pretty steady here all week as well, but analysts say... Yeah, they're going to rise again. These three whistleblowers here, they had to actually go outside the chain of command to get anyone to pay attention to this. Were their immediate supervisors not taking this seriously when they initially came to them? It looks better than it feels, I think, outside. Dave Scott, uh, when can we turn the heat off? It's been uh, pretty darn cold. <laughs> if you look at some of these companies that had stronger than expected earnings, uh, companies like Nike. Uh, doing quite well unexpectedly, but then you see the housing market really tanking. Then what's happening overseas in China? You can do all five of those <laughs> at once. You know what, Tom and then Arnold? Get back you, I might have some ideas to solving our budget crisis here in San Diego. Yes. <laughs> Streamlining everything into yeah. one activity. NTSB will investigate, but hard to believe when you look at the flames there and the smoke and the fact that this was a plane that crashed that they were able to walk away from this. Look at that. Talk about letting uh, city workers to take their pictures and put them on 401k plans other than the uh, police department is something unthinkable. Why is it unthinkable to, to propose a 401k plan to a union member, but not unthinkable to propose a 401k plan to the average working family who is not a union member? That's but, the question. But that is not what I said. I, I, that's the question I'm asking. Okay, you. well, as long as you're saying you said it was unthinkable, I didn't say it was unthinkable. You said it was I unthinkable. Said, I said, we said that that it is. The difference between an innocent civilian and a probable threat is key. It's something most people don't think about when they think of the country of Israel, that there are actually surfers there surfing on the Mediterranean Sea. But it turns out there's a lot of surfers in Israel, about 25,000 people, and it's opening up a new dialogue between Christians, Muslims, and the Jews. We have a proclivity to vote for certain candidates or for certain ways because of our genetic makeup. That's the best kind of music if you can't yeah. fully describe it because it means you're kind of breaking the mold a little bit, doesn't it? I don't know how to even work this. this is, oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. Is that what you do? <laughs> More than just a pitter-patter right now. It's coming down pretty hard here in Kearney Mesa. Dave Scott will check in with you in just a bit. Thanks so much. Yeah. And by the way, our viewers, you can help uh, report on the weather. Be a KUS eyewitness. Take pictures uh, or video of the rain, the snow, the wind, or any storm damage in your neighborhood. Send it to us. Just go to our website, KUSI.com. Look for the KUS Eyewitness tab, then do the download. Where these legal prescription drugs can be gotten by illegal means. In fact, they can be found in a lot of places that a lot of people would expect. This is the gentleman who is responsible for keeping this tree in place. Are you prepared in case uh, something <laughs> needs to happen? Nature takes its course. The Kansas caucuses, they are today. 40 delegates are up for grabs. But instead of campaigning there, Republican presidential candidates are keeping their focus on the South. The federal government is taking the lead in the prosecution against the suspect. George Jakubuk has been indicted on eight charges related to the so-called bomb factory case. And that event is taking place on 3rd Avenue. A lot of people this weekend celebrating the holidays. KUSI's John Soderman joins us live from the South Bay with more tonight. John? We're coming to you live from Chula Vista. John Soderman, KUSI News. All right, John, a lot of people out there tonight. 100,000 in the South Bay, 300,000 in Balboa Park celebrating the holiday season. December night's another free event. Always yeah. a great, great time out there. Great time of year. All right, John, thanks so much. And a very good morning, everybody. I'm Tom Jordan. Closing arguments are scheduled this morning in the trial of the man accused of opening fire and wounding two children at a Carlsbad Elementary School back in 2010. Brendan O'Rourke is charged with seven counts of premeditated attempted murder in the shooting at Kelly Elementary School in Carlsbad. The 42-year-old reportedly told investigators he had been tortured by a neighbor who told him the torture would stop if he shot the children. The day of the shooting, O'Rourke was carrying a Magnum six-shot revolver, three speed loaders, a five-gallon gas can, large matches, and ammunition. O'Rourke has pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. If convicted, he faces 103 years in prison. Well, tomorrow's a big day, Super Tuesday, and the race for the GOP presidential nomination is nearing the home stretch. Ten states with more than 400 delegates are at stake. So far, Rick Santorum and Mitt Romney have been fighting neck and neck while Newt Gingrich and Ron Paul are campaigning heavily to keep their nomination hopes alive. Meantime, Mitt Romney is headed into tomorrow's big contest with two new supporters. He has picked up endorsements from House Majority Leader Eric Cantor and Senator Tom Coburn. 
Now, Cantor says Romney is the only candidate in the race that has put forward a bold pro-growth, pro-jobs plan for the future, and he believes Romney will win the GOP nomination. Russia's election commission says Vladimir Putin won more than 64 percent of the vote in Sunday's presidential election there. His closest yeah. opponent scored 17 percent of the vote. That means there will not be a runoff. Opposition leaders have accused Mr. Putin's supporters of rigging the vote in some polling places. They're calling for protesters to take to the streets later today. You might want to keep your gas tank topped off. Gas prices have been pretty steady here all week as well, but analysts say, yeah, they're going to rise again. All right, the Kansas caucuses, they are today. 40 delegates are up for grabs, but instead of campaigning there, Republican presidential candidates are keeping their focus on the South. Both Rick Santorum and Mitt Romney have been campaigning in Alabama. Polls show Santorum with a slight lead there, although Romney continues to lead most of the national polls. Santorum says for him, he is in it to win. Now the uh, GOP candidates will continue campaigning in Alabama and Mississippi over the next couple of days. Both states hold primaries on Tuesday.